Hey guys, it's Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Join me in the kitchen today as we make five fun and festive, five ingredient Easter treats I think you're going to love. If you are looking for some quick and easy Easter treat ideas, I've got you covered. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, hit the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, grab a coffee or tea, sit back, relax, and let's get cooking. The first five ingredient recipe I'm gonna be sharing is Crock-Pot Easter Peanut Clusters. You're going to need dry roasted peanuts, almond bark, M&Ms, and sprinkles for this recipe. I'm gonna start off by lining my slow cooker with these slow cooker liners. I love using these, not just for this recipe, it makes for easy peasy cleanup. Next, I'm gonna add in a little cooking spray and then pour in my 34.5 ounce container of dry roasted peanuts. Next, I'm gonna chop up 48 ounces of almond bark. I'm using this almond bark from Walmart, so I'm using two 24 ounce packages. Then I'm going to add my chopped almond bark on top of the peanuts, cover with the lid and cook on low for one to one and a half hours, stirring every 15 minutes until the chocolate is melted and the mixture is creamy. And if your slow cooker gets a lot of condensation, I do recommend adding a kitchen towel before you cover with the lid so the chocolate doesn't seize. Once the chocolate is melted and the mixture is all creamy, stir in some M&Ms. And now I'm going to scoop peanut clusters on top of a parchment lined baking sheet. Before the chocolate hardens, I'm going to add some sprinkles and top with a few more M&Ms. And then I'm going to set them aside until they harden. Once they harden, I'm going to store in an airtight container or place in a candy bowl and enjoy. Next up is cake mix carrot cake cookies. You're gonna need a box of carrot cake mix, a half a cup of vegetable oil, two large eggs, a container of cream cheese frosting, and some chopped walnuts. In a large bowl, mix together the cake mix, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and two large eggs until blended. Next, I'm going to line a large baking sheet with parchment paper. I like to spray the baking sheet with cooking spray first so the parchment paper sticks. Then I'm also going to spray my cookie scoop with some cooking spray and add one tablespoon scoops onto my prepared baking sheet. I'm going to bake the cookies on the center rack in a 350 degree oven for 10 to 13 minutes. Once the cookies have cooled, I'm going to add some cream cheese frosting and sprinkle with walnuts. These cookies are so easy and yummy, especially if you love carrot cake. Next, I'm going to be making Rice crispy Nests. These are so cute for spring and Easter. I'm gonna start by adding six cups of Rice Krispies to a bowl and then set those aside. Next, I'm going to melt five tablespoons of butter in a large saucepan. While the butter is melting, I'm going to spray my muffin tin with cooking spray and set that aside. Once the butter has melted, I'm going to stir in a 10 ounce bag of mini marshmallows and stir those until the marshmallows have melted. Once my marshmallows have melted, I'm going to stir in my Rice Krispies and stir them until combined. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm gonna scoop some of the Rice Krispie mixture into each of the muffin tins and then using the back of a spoon to form a nest. Once I have them all filled, I do go back and press them down with my fingers and then I will set them aside to cool completely. With the leftover mixture, I stir in some M&Ms and make a Rice Krispie treat for my kids. Once my nests have cooled, I pop them out of the muffin tin and then I fill them with Cadbury eggs and some edible grass. I got the edible grass at Hobby Lobby. There is a link in the description below if you'd like to print out today's recipes. Don't these just scream spring and Easter? These are so fun and festive and easy and perfect for any Easter or spring gathering. Next up is Easter bunny chow for this recipe. I have six cups of corn checks. I will also use one and a half cups of white chocolate chips, a cup of powdered sugar, some mini Cadbury eggs and sprinkles. I'm adding one cup of powdered sugar and a fourth a cup of sprinkles to a large zipper bag and setting that aside. Next, I'm gonna melt my white chocolate chips in a microwave safe bowl in 30 separate increments until it is melted. Next, I'm going to stir in the corn checks into the melted chocolate and then add that mixture to the powdered sugar and give it a good shake until it's all combined. I'm going to pour the mixture into a large bowl, stir in some sprinkles and mini Cadbury eggs. This Easter bunny chow is so yummy and delicious to store in an airtight container. It makes a really nice gift to give as well. I wanted to show you these containers that I found at Hobby Lobby. They were only $7.99 and then 40% off. And these would be really cute to fill with some of these Easter treats. And last up is Peeps Schmores Dip. First, I'm gonna warm up a half a cup of heavy whipping cream in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Next, I'm going to pour a bag of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips into a 9-inch pie dish and then pour the warm, heavy whipping cream on top. I'm going to pop this in a 350-degree oven for 5 minutes. I'm going to remove it from the oven and stir it until it is blended and creamy. Next, I'm gonna to top the mixture with the peeps. And then I'm gonna pop this back in the oven for another three to four minutes. And here it is, all done. It is so good and a great way to use those peeps. Alright you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below what your favorite Easter treat was that I made. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.